Good evening and welcome to Brookline Youth Baseball here on Brookline Access Television. I'm Tom McGee and here with me this evening is Tom Madigan. And we're going to be bringing you the game between the Pirates and Tigers tonight. That's right, this should be a good game tonight. The Pirates are back in the hunt for first place. They've really improved as a team, come along really well this year. The Tigers are struggling, but they've got a good group of players who uh, really go out and hustle and try real hard. So it should be a real interesting game. Great. Tragically, 150,000 Americans will lose their lives this year because of one thing. And tonight, uh, now here are the Brookline Pirates. My name's David Corona, I'm age 12 and I go to East School. I'm Josh Kudish, I go to Baker School and I'm 12. I'm Mac Campagna, I'm 12 years old and I go to Heath. My name is Kyle Martin, I'm age 11 and I go to Baker School. My name is Jeff Cotson, I'm age 11 and I go to Baker School. My name is Greg Lever, I'm 12 years old and I go to Baker School. I'm Ryan Magner, 11 years old and I go to Heath School. I'm Willie Moss, I'm 11 years old and I go to Runkle School. I'm Kyle Barney, I'm 10 years old and I go to Lincoln School. Hi, I'm David Dash, I'm 11 years old and I go to Heath School. My name is Elaine McCants. I'm 11 years old and I go to Lincoln School. Hi, my name is Connor Monahan and I'm 7 years old and I go to Baker School and I'm, and I'm back up for the park. And now introducing the Brookline Tigers. Hi, I'm Zach Muffson. My age is 12. I go to Devotion School. I'm Jonas Master. My age is 11 and I go to Drisco. My name is Jamie Matthews, I'm 12 years old and I go to Driscoll School. Hi, I'm Josh Dam and I'm 12 and I'm from Pierce School. My name is Mike Maya, I'm 12 and I go to Schechter. Hi, my name is Jesse Hamilton, I, I'm 12 and I go to Pierce School. My name is Josh Knott, I'm 11 years old and I go to Driscoll School. I'm Daniel Koff, um, I'm 11 and I go to Lawrence School. Matt McDonald, 11 and I go to Lawrence. My name is Adriana Zarillo, I'm 12 years old and I go to Edward Devotion. Hello, my name is Scott Licata, I'm 12 and I go to Lawrence School. Adam Apfel, I'm 11 and I go to Pierce School. And now the coaches for the Tigers. Howard Rosenstein. Mark Zarillo. Last but not least, Bruce Dahlbeck. And we'll be right back with the start of tonight's game. See this? In its earliest, most treatable stage, breast cancer is no bigger than the head of a pen. Now take a pillow and imagine it's your breast. You feel anything? Neither would the 45,000 women who will die of breast cancer this year. Don't wait. Get a mammogram. Call your American Cancer Society at 1-800-ACS-2345. Tonight's umpire is Sean Payne. Welcome back. Uh, we're starting coverage of the game here. Uh, for the Pirates, we've got... Uh, we got uh, Ryan Magner on the mound, and he is—he's uh, going to be uh, let's see, pitching. Uh, Tom, who's he pitching to there? That's uh, Zach Muffson. Zach Muffson. New Tiger this year, formerly of the famous Indian team. And of course, Ryan was with the Pirates last year, if I remember correctly, and uh, was in that World Series game. 
Jack. Yes, he was. Played it short, I believe, and yep. then he's moved over to pitcher later in the game. Yep, he's a, an all-around ball player. This year he's developed a nasty curveball. Really? And uh, is allegedly terrorizing the league with it. <laughs> and here's the pitch. And it's foul right up past our cameraman and through some parents. But no one was hurt. Yeah, Zach got his bat on that one. Yes, he did. So, uh, <laughs> Zach's a good hitter. He's 12 years old. And he's a very talented young athlete. Yeah, that's another. He's had a couple of low balls there, but he does have the speed moving those in there, that's for sure. No question on that. Three one pitch now. Inside ball four. It's ball four, so he's walked the first man. So we've got Muffson on first. And we've got uh, Josh Donan up next. Donat. Donat. <laughs> and here's the pitch. And he took a swing at a high fastball. Yeah, Brian throwing hard early in the game. <laughs> Consistently hard, if nothing else. Yeah. And here's the pitch to Josh. And he watches that one. Elaine McCants is catching behind the plate right now, and here's the pitch. Whoa! Buzzed it right in there, strike two. Nasty pitch by Rhino. One and two right now. Kantz is keeping active behind the plate. Keeping Zach honest over at first. And here's the one-two pitch. A bit high. Even to count up a two and two. Good eye by Josh that time. Yeah, that first one that was buzzing up by him, he uh, wanted everything you could tell, but uh, he looks a little more patient. And here's the two-two pitch. Down a little bit low. Nice stop by Elaine. I think maybe Ryan's a little nervous being on TV here. <laughs> and here we go with a 3-2 uh, pitch. And that's uh, all four. So. Ryan has walked the uh, first two batters he's seen. And now coming up to the plate, Scott Licata. Scott Licata. The second, Scott's second year on the Tigers. And that's a high pitch there. Scott also a very talented soccer player. Really? Very fast. <laughs> Very fast. Well, with a couple of men on base, that could be important here uh, if we can uh, put the ball in play. And here's the 1 0 pitch right in there. Well, a few more like that, obviously, is what Ryan would like to see. Let's get two men on with nobody out so far here in the top of the first inning. And no score. It's a beautiful night here. A cloud in the sky. And here's the pitch. Strike two. Looks like he's found the groove here. Yeah. Take one minute, maybe an inning, to settle down. Well, that's uh, quite understandable. And here's the pitch. Oh! Got him swinging at the high stuff. And that's the first out here. Ryan makes the uh, fake to second. Sort of trying to take, uh, catch uh, Zach asleep at the switch, but no such luck. That brings up Jamie James, Matthews. Yeah, James Matthews is up now. Jamie's probably the best hitter on this team. Really? And he's got a, a real nice smooth swing. And there's the pitch. That's a ball. The Kants, again, is still staying very active behind the plate, making sure that uh, nobody gets any free stuff on the bases there tonight. And here's the pitch from Ryan. And that's high. It's 2-0. and Ryan checks in, and here, oh, he waves off that one. 
Good thing this is in the big leagues. I think they might have called that a balk, but I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no box here. And here's the pitch. Ball three. Uh, looks like that one must have been a little high. Yeah, Jamie has a good eye and is a very talented player. Well, he uh, uh, has been very patient, if nothing else, so far. Yeah. He was MVP of the American League team in this year's All-Star game. Now, now, from what I heard, I actually wasn't there for the All-Star game, but I, I heard it was 17 to nothing. Is that correct? I didn't, I didn't hear the exact damage, but 16. Uh, uh, depending on which American League coach you talk to, <laughs> it, the score ranged from from uh, 17 to 117. So, okay. Now, playing out in the uh, in the field for the Pirates, we have, of course, uh, Ryan uh, Ryan Magner. Uh, out on the mound, we've got uh, Lane McCants uh, behind the plate. Uh, then over at first base, we have uh, Jeff Carton. Uh, then over at uh, second, we've got uh, Josh Kudish. Then uh, over at shortstop, uh, we have uh, Greg Lever, who was also on the team last year. Uh, over at third, we have uh, Barney Kyle. Kyle uh, Barney. Kyle Barney, excuse me. Uh, let's see. And the outfield, we have Matty Campagna. Matty Cam Matt, excuse me, Matty Campagna. Yeah. Uh, then uh, also we have uh, David Corona. David Corona. And uh, over in right, we have uh, Kyle Monahan. Here we go, Jeff. A famous outfield. <laughs> uh, and we've got uh, we've got the bases loaded here, and there is a slow roll to the first to play at home, and there's one out now. So after uh, walking the bases loaded. Ryan gets himself out of a bit of the jam, or at least gets himself close to it, by getting that first very important out. Base is still loaded now. Two outs. Okay, there are two outs while we're reeling the lineups. We missed an out. I'm very disappointed. Uh, but now we've got uh, two outs. Base is loaded. Uh, I don't think there are two outs. No? Oh, yeah, there's two outs now. There's a strikeout and the force out. Thank you. Yeah, so we have the strikeout, that's right, strikeout and the force out. So we do have two outs now. So we got Matt McDonald at the plate. We got Matt McDonald at the plate right now. Another second year Tiger. All around athlete, good arm, good catcher, good infielder, and good hitter. And here's the pitch. That's a strike right down the pipe. Appears that Matt didn't want any part of that. And here's the pitch. That's a, just a bit outside. That one looked pretty close. Count is two and two. And here's the pitch from Ryan into Matt. That's high, three and two. So with the bases loaded and a full count, there's some pressure on Ryan right now to get a good pitch over there. That's right. Bad situation for the team. Oh, it's a, it's a Runners situation. on the move here, and a base hit could score them all. Well, you get something that can drop in there, that's obviously going to bring him in. And here's the pitch. Oh, struck him out. A very big play here for Ryan. And that finishes up the top half of the first inning. And we'll be back here to continue coverage of the game in just a moment. You must remember this. It seems like yesterday you watched your family grow through happy times, rewarding times. You've worked hard to create a life filled with rich memories. Now that you've reached the golden years, you should have the health and vigor to create new memories. Exercise helps your heart, muscles, and mind to stay strong. This is Van Johnson. Check with your physician first and exercise regularly for yourself and those you love. Fitness is feeling great. Okay, and let's go through the uh, the field position for the different players on Detroit. Patch pitching tonight, we have uh, James Matthews on the mound. Behind the plate catching, we have Josh Dam. Over at uh, first base, we've got Jesse Hamilton. At second, we've got Mac McDonald. We've got, uh, over at short, we've got Josh Donat. And over at third, we've got Adrian Zarillo. In the outfield, over in left. 
Scott Lakata. Scott Lakata. Then we've got uh, Zach Muffson in center and Dan Koff over in right. And there's a hit. Lane McCants has just sent one right out of there. Oh no, excuse me, that was a, apparently a ground rule double. Went over the fence. <coughs> yeah, line drive to left field. She jumped on that pitch. So you said this Pirates team, team is doing pretty well. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah they, they've really come on in the last two weeks and have emerged as one of the at the top three teams in the league here. Well, now we've got second baseman Josh Kudish up at the plate, and here is the pitch. And there's a number right over towards the middle. Pick up and throw him out. And the McCants on the ball as she was behind the plate, moves it over to third. So with one down, we have a runner in very good scoring position over at third base. Josh grounded out, but was able to advance the runner. So this is a much faster moving <laughs> inning than uh, in the top half of the first year. Jamie's throwing strikes, and the Pirates are swinging at him. And we have uh, Ryan, uh, Ryan Magner up now. So uh, Matthews would like to uh, put somebody away here to get two outs with the runner on third, and here's the pitch. And that one goes right up the middle. Right up the middle. McCants will score. That's one nothing. Good solid hit. Ryan apparently, oh, Ryan was uh, <laughs> trying to make something happen there and nearly got caught off the bag. Aggressive base running by Ryan Magner. Now if that, that ball had been overthrown a little bit, he would have been on second. Well, that's, that's the way you got to play it to make sure you always have that opportunity. We have Greg Lever at the plate right now. Greg has some good power. And here's the pitch to the shortstop. He pops it up. Ryan tags up in case there's a problem, but it's a clean catch. So now there are two outs with Ryan still on first. This is Maddie Campagna. Left fielder for the team. Maddie can definitely take it deep. <laughs> if I remember correctly from the World Series last year, Maddie did take one deep. And here goes the pitch. And that's a ball, low and outside. Ryan goes to second, and they don't even try a throw. Head first slide into second base. <laughs> More of that aggressive play. Ryan is an aggressive base runner. Well, Josh really didn't have a chance to throw him out from behind the plate there. And here's the pitch from Matthews. And that's a ball. Ryan is still running around out there, taking nothing for granted, trying to move ahead at every opportunity, but that's what will win you some games. Yep. He'll be on third base if they're not careful. <laughs> I wouldn't be you surprised. Make, you make a little mistake, he'll take advantage of it. And here's the pitch. And there's a number right towards the mound. Matthew's got to make a clean play and does. So Campania grounds out to the mound. We had a fast inning, but a run does score on the double and then follow-up single. Double by McCants, single by Ryan Magner. So after one, we have the score. Pirates up, 1-0 over the Tigers. We'll be right back. Smokeless tobacco? Man, that's some nasty stuff. Remember CJ got messed up from it? Got a lot of gum problems. Man, my brother has some foul looking sores in his mouth from chew. And quitting was tough too because he was hooked on the nicotine. But he quit. Yeah, that guy with mouth cancer really got to him. Yeah, and Kim said his breath was terrible. <laughs> Get the facts. Smokeless isn't harmless. Write this address. And we're back here at the top of the second inning. We've got uh, Adriana Zarillo at the plate, third baseman for the Tigers. And we've got strike one. Again, the score right now is 1-0 Pirates leading, and here's the pitch from Ryan Magner. So one and one the count here. Adriana's also a good hitter. And she is demonstrating just what you say. Slashing one right to center field. Holds up at first wisely. So we've got a runner on first with nobody out here to lead off the second. So once again, the Tigers have the lead runner on. We'll just have to see if they can do something with it. This is Josh Dam. Josh apparently going for the muddy look here this evening. Uh, <laughs> well, that sun's pretty bright out there. Yeah, yes, it is. <laughs> it's behind him, but we, we, won't, we don't have to mention yeah. that at all. And here's the pitch from Ryan. 
and that was a nice fastball right down the middle. And uh, when you're the catcher, you get a little smudged up back back there behind the plate. Well, that's, so uh, that, that eye black is understandable <laughs> enough. It's hard with the mask. Ryan apparently is checking in for some signals. Hands being called off the mound. Josh! Josh! He's got something in his eye. Oh, okay. Maybe, maybe more of that eye black. Well, <laughs> it looks like he may have blown a bubble and a little bit got in his eye. Does that, does that count as a trip to the mound? Of course, if this was big leagues, one more trip to the mound like that, we'd have to pull him, but I don't think that's going to happen here. And here's the pitch from Ryan. And that one's high and gets away. And... Uh, Looks like Adriana may have had a chance, but held up, fearing the uh, arm of McCants behind the plate. Yeah, the backstop on this field is really close, so yeah, yes, it is. You have to be careful. When the ball gets away, it hits the one of those poles and comes right back to the catcher, and you're a dead duck. So, so good caution by Adriana in that play. It's another strike. Ryan's been putting the strikes in a little more tightly this inning. Hasn't had the problem with throwing in some of those balls. And in the second inning, that's understandable. A little more control. And here's the pitch. And there's that curveball. Him strike three. Out. Wow, and that is the curveball you were talking about terrorizing the league, and I can see why. So now we've got one out, and we've still got Zarello on first. So we've got the uh, ninth hitter in the order here coming up, Dan Koff. Koff is uh, uh, playing over in right field tonight. Adriana's going. She's running for second on the pitch that got away and is safe and at second, no throw. So now we've got a runner on second here with one out. Koff with a chance with the runner in scoring position to tie up this game with a good hit. And here's the pitch from Ryan. Well, this is the one of the few lefty batters on the Tigers. I was, so. was going to say, we've, we've got a lefty in there right now. And, uh, we'll have to see how Ryan handles throwing yeah, in Ryan's, towards the lefties. Ryan's going to have to adjust a little. And here's the pitch. And that one was a bit high. Nice umpiring by Sean Payne behind the plate. Nice and consistent, which is just what the kids like. And here's the pitch. That's a strike, and uh, the ball skipped away a few. Oops, excuse me, that was ball four. I thought that was a strike. Ball four. Good thing the umpire's calling him a little tighter than I am anyway. <laughs> So we've got uh, runners on first and second now with one out. Tigers threatening again here. The Tigers, uh, well, they, uh, they had them loaded up uh, a couple of times last inning, weren't able to produce anything. We'll have to see if uh, Ryan can dig himself out of another jam. Looks like Zach isn't messing around. I believe he's going to bunt. And he uh, faked everyone out there. <laughs> Ryan pitched it a bit away, so we've got ball one there. Zach Muffson at the plate. Back to the top of the order. Again, one out, two on. Coach Pirates Howie Rosenstein flashing the signs in the third base coach. <laughs> Coach's box. And fakes the bunt again. So uh, got the count to 2-0 and oh in Zach's favor. So he's in very good shape here should he decide to bunt. Well, they could decide just to have him swing away. We'll have to see. Ryan obviously does not want to walk this man. And here's the pitch. That was high, so we've got the count of 3-0. As uh, Ryan in previous games, uh, any trouble with uh, walking them on or uh, putting a lot of men on for many of the games you've seen? Uh, I don't think so, no. I think this is something he's going to have to work through tonight. Here we go, Zach. Here we go. Well, we've got those. Maybe they rebuilt the mound and it's <laughs> a foot higher. And that one was just what he needed, a strike right down the middle. Put a little bit of pressure on Zach. Get Ryan back into the game here. So a 3-1 count. And here is the pitch. And it's pop-up. It's a pop. Muffson popped it up. And Ryan makes a clean catch there just to the right side of the mound. So now we've got two outs here in the top of the second inning. Two runners on, and Ryan has a chance to get out of a little bit of trouble again. He does. He may squeeze out of it, but he's got a tough batter here and Josh to not. This kid can hit the ball. Ryan makes a mistake, puts that fastball in there where he can hit it. 
He, uh, he walked in that the uh, first time he faced him, and here's the pitch. Looked like he was going to bunt, stepped away, and that's ball one. We'll see if they're pulling him in. We'll see if they're going to try the bunt. He steps back away, and we've got 2-0 count again. Yeah, it looks like they're uh, trying to distract the pitcher with this fake bunt. Well, it appears to have oh, worked so in. far. Ryan's had a little bit of trouble throwing strikes on the uh, first couple of pitches to each batter, and here's the pitch. That was a nice pitch. That was uh, outside corner at the knees. Right, right over Pitcher's at the knees. Pitch. Just about impossible to hit there. Unless you had a nine iron and a good tee. And here's the two-one pitch, swinging away, foul tip. Evens up the count at two and two. Ryan has two strikeouts in the game. Excuse me, he's got uh, three strikeouts in the game so far. And he'd like to add one more to that here. Well, this would be a good time for it. Uh, wouldn't want to see one uh, slapped anywhere around in the field. We definitely get a run in to tie up yep. the game then. Got some and speed here's the 2-2 two -two pitch. Oh, strikes him out looking. Strikes him out looking. Tough pitch. Very tough pitch. Good pitching by Ryan to dig himself out of a little hole he got himself into there. And so after one and a half innings, we're looking at the Pirates leading the Tigers one to nothing. We'll be right back. Turn on your breakfast. Turn on your day. You're the one that's going to make it. Look at your work. Look at your play. Be your best every day. Have fun. Just do it your way. Turn it on. Turn on the breakfast. Turn it on. Now don't you know? You're the one that's gonna make it. Look at your move. Look at your goal. Turn it on. And uh, now here we are, bottom of the second inning, and we've got uh, David Corona up at the plate. Corona, the center fielder for the Pirates. And here is the pitch from Matthews. Strike. Looks like uh, Corona thought that one was going to come in and give him a little high heat, bent back from it, but uh, no such luck. And uh, got another lefty batter at the plate here. And here is the pitch from Matthews. That one's a bit high. Yeah, David's the younger brother of Richie Corona, another famous pirate from a few years back. Mm -hmm. Also a lefty power hitter. Oh, I have to see if uh, he can get one into play here. Well, two and one, so the count's in his favor. <coughs> How has uh, Matthews been doing as far as the pitching goes so far this year? Come on, David! Uh, Strike two and two. I think Jamie's have been having a good season so far. He had a little arm trouble last year. A little tendonitis in the elbow. Mm. And... The Red Sox should send a trainer over. They've got enough, enough experience with that so far this year. And there's the 2-2 pitch. Joe? Don't want coaching to get in the way of the count. Got a 2-2 pitch. That last one was fouled off uh, out of play. So the count stays 2-2. Two and two. And here is the pitch from Jamie Matthews. Oof. Nice pitch right down the middle. Just where you want to put it. Tough and Dave, ball. yeah, David Corona couldn't catch up with that one. No, a very couldn't. tough pitch. So uh, one thing is Matthews has been working very fast so far. That's what you like to see. Get him in a groove, <laughs> get the ball back, get ready and throw. Yep. And we've got uh, Jeff Carton at the plate right now. Carton, the first baseman for the Pirates. So of course it's his uh, first time at the plate. He is, you can say, a big righty hitter. Here's the pitch. And he uh, tried to knock that one into play, but fouled it off behind the plate. Well, they definitely have been keeping Josh Dam uh, very active uh, uh, behind the plate there. Been a lot of movement, a lot of balls uh, rolling around, fouled off back there. And here's the pitch. That's a strike. Right across the knees, uh, Ryan got a couple in right in that same position there. Makes it very difficult. 
Yeah, Jamie's pitching very well. Right around the plate and low. And here's the pitch. And that looks like it could be a good hit over towards right. Oh! Catcher's interference on that ball. So that's an automatic hit. Sure. Automatic award of first base. Okay. Carton swung and he hit the catcher's glove with his bat. That and was, that's uh, ball's dead and you're automatically on first. Well, that, uh, which negates that error. Yes. In right field, so yes, uh, same effect. Dan Coff had a very tough play there. The sun fighting against him, moving down and away from him. Slap right off his glove. And there's a hit. Right up the middle. Kyle Monahan. Coff cuts it off and gets it in there with a good throw to second. And they're making the play at third, and it goes away. Gets away from Adrian Zarello. A high throw, very difficult. Well, we've got a runner on third now and a score two to nothing. That was a, uh, a hit by uh, Kyle Monahan. A beautiful shot right to center, which easily would have been a double. Dan Koff made a very nice play and got the ball back in. Second baseman uh, uh, Matt McConnell got, uh, uh, got the ball over, but just got a little bit away. We've got uh, Kyle Barney at the plate, and here's the pitch. That's a strike. Yeah, the throw into to Josh did not. And, uh, I think in his haste to, to get the runner at third, he threw it a little yeah, too high. That, that was Josh who uh, made the throw, and it was. Yeah. It, was uh, it was a very tough play. And uh, everyone's swinging away, and uh, I think that one just caught a Chevy out in the parking lot. <laughs> as long as it's not my Chevy. No, I, th I think it was mine. So uh, we've got a runner at third. Pirates up 2 nothing. This is a tough, good-hitting, fast-running squad you can see already. And here's the pitch. That's a strike. And that is a strikeout. I believe, uh, yeah, that is the second one of the inning. So we've got uh, two good hits paired around a couple of strikeouts right here. And we've got uh, McCants up at the plate again. And she tags this one. Going, that going. Deep and back and out of play right up against the wall. Great try on left field by Scott. And she goes for two. And she's safe. safe at second. Safe at second. That was an extremely close play. More aggressive base running. That was a tremendous diving attempt in left field by Scott Licata. I thought yeah. he had it there Scott, for a second. Scott Licata made a, a great attempt out there. That one was just uh, uh, inches beyond his grasp and right up against the, uh, right up against the uh, fencing out there. Now we've got uh, uh, Josh up at the plate again. And a, a great recovery by Zach Muffson as well. Yeah, that ball was right in there. Had if, uh, almost had her there, you're right. And here's a pop-up right to the pitcher. He's calling and makes the third out. So some deep, long hits in that inning, and uh, that puts the score now at uh, two to nothing. Excuse me, three, <laughs> three to nothing. Here the Pirates are leading the Tigers, and we'll be right back. If you've had a sexually transmitted disease like gonorrhea, herpes, or syphilis, listen. What you were doing that exposed you to that disease could also expose you to the AIDS virus. You're living proof that a sexually transmitted disease can happen. Please don't prove it again. Find out more about HIV, the virus that causes AIDS. Here we go. Uh, we're in the uh, top of the third inning here. Ryan Magner's still on the mound. We've got, uh, I believe we've got Scotty Licata. Yeah, we've got Scott at the plate here, and here's Ryan's first pitch. And that's a strike. If uh, Ryan can uh, get some control on his pitches here, uh, they've got a lead for him now, and uh, I'd say he just wants to get this game rolling along a little bit. And that was a little bit high and away. So we got the one-on-one -on -one count here on Lakata, and here's the pitch from Magner. That was just a little low. We've seen a couple in there tonight. Not much, uh, not much off from that. That uh, were really tough strikes. I think you can see Ryan's really trying to work the edges here. And here's the pitch. That one, uh, no edges on that. Nope. <laughs> two and two count here in Lakata to start off the uh, top of the third inning with the Pirates leading the Tigers three to nothing. The Tigers are hanging tough here. 
but they're going to have to get some runs. Well, they, they sure will. They've had many opportunities, and here's the 2-2 pitch. And this one's fouled off, and... Uh, ooh. I think it went through the roof. Well, someone just had the roof on the convertible opened, I believed. That's the right time of year <laughs> to have a hole in your convertible. True. Hopefully that hurricane won't hit quite yet. So here we go with another 2-2 pitch from Ryan. And that one uh, is a little high and inside. Had uh, Scott moving a little bit outside there. And here is the 3-2 pitch. That was a, a beautiful pitch right down the middle. Took Scott out of there with another strikeout. Scott! Don't get mad. Get even. Let's get ahead. Come on. That's uh, five strikeouts for Ryan so far. He's doing quite well. Here we go, Jamie. Feast or famine. That's right. He's, he's, uh, when he's going for those corners, if he hits them, you don't have a chance of uh, hitting those balls. But when he misses them, he's putting some people on. That one's a little low right there. So that's 1-0 oh, to uh, Jamie Matthews, the pitcher for the Tigers, who's been throwing a good game, but uh, those pirate hitters are doing as well as they are so far. It's very tough to keep them on base, off base. Yeah, he's made a few mistakes, gotten a few balls up in the strike zone. and Oh, yeah, well, you can't make those. That's against the Pirates. Yeah, yeah, you really uh, you don't want to do that. Uh, they've very got much a, like a against the Red Sox this year. You put them up teams. there, they'll hit them. That's right. But Jamie can hit. And the pitch. And this one's being fouled off. Edge, edge. And we've got more automotive damage. I think a number and of uh, local... My car. <laughs> <laughs> a number of insurance companies. Actually, we, I, I wonder if we have any insurance companies in our sponsors tonight. We'll have to check that out. If not, we can get one. It's like a red station wagon. Well, that, that beautiful van has <laughs> three or four dents in it already from why do, why do I believe previous that? games. Now I see why you let me park my car so close. <laughs> Can I use one of these? So the Tigers, the Tigers are losing all the baseball. <laughs> I think uh, they, they, they're using a strategy to slow the game yeah. down a little bit. Maybe throw Ryan out of some of his motion. And here's the pitch. And that one is inside. And here's the pitch from Magner. That one is right in there. Called strike right three. three. Well, uh, we go, looks like uh, Ryan is definitely wants to get this game moving along, striking out the first two people he sees. Well, between that fastball and that curveball he throws, it's if you can throw him for strikes, the, there's, there aren't many kids who are going to hit it. Here we go, Jack. Here we go. We've got uh, Jesse Hamilton at the plate right now. Hamilton, the first baseman for the Tigers. He uh, forced out in the first inning. And uh, now we've got uh, a one-on-one -on -one count. And the pitch. And uh, that one's a little inside, so we've got a... Uh, Two and one count now. Yeah, sometimes a fastball pitcher needs to be a little on the wild side. Keep the hitters back off the plate. Well, he doesn't have quite the height of Randy Johnson yet, but uh, if he keeps working on that fastball. Good eye, Jess. Way to go. That one, if, uh, if any indication is true, considering that the batter backing away and the catcher diving to, uh, to her right to catch it, might have been a slider. <laughs> I don't know if he knows how to throw, but I think he just might have thrown one. Good eye, Jeff. And he takes his base. So uh, Ryan uh, has uh, walked his first bat of this inning. So with two outs, we've got uh, Hamilton on first. And we've got uh, Matt McDonald. No, excuse me. Mike. We've got Mike Maya. So we've got uh, McDonald being replaced with Mike Maya. How many walks are Here we go, Michael. And it's a high pitch, and Hamilton's going for second. And he's out. He is out. That's uh, aggressive base running there, trying to get back in the game. But that will, that, that will end up the inning. And so after, uh, after two and a half, we've still got the score here. Three to nothing, Pirates over the Tigers. We'll be back.
How many? <laughs> Tragically, 150,000 Americans will lose their lives this year because of one thing. But not the thing you think. We've got a couple of changes defensively in the, uh, in the lineup here. Uh, oh, in its second base, we have uh, okay. Jonas. Master. We've got, excuse me, Jonas, Jonas Master. Master, thank you. And uh, Mike Maya is now behind the plate. Mike Maya is behind the plate now. And we've got Ryan Magner up here to lead off the bottom of the third inning. And there's a foul ball right up along the third base line, skipping out. Ryan got a single in the first that drove in. McCants scoring the first run for the Pirates and stole second. Some more of that aggressive base running. And he's got a one strike count here and here's the pitch from Matthews. And a swing and this one's a roller up the third base line and foul. Well, Ryan felt that one hit him in the foot. Really? That was a foul ball. And I was wondering why he got off to a bit of a slow start there because that's not his usual was style. The call, but fortunately it rolled foul anyway. Well, Zarello was uh, quick with the recovery on the third base line there and ready to uh, make it a very close play at first base. And with a 2-1 uh, and one count here, the uh, pitcher Matthews is calling in Maya. Well, Ryan, probably pound for pound, is is the most powerful hitter in the league. He can really hit the ball deep. Well, we and just have to see what a small uh, kid. What he can do with this pitch here from Matthews. And here is the two, one and two delivery. And he fouls this one back. Oh. And, uh, <laughs> once again, you see why the uh, fans along that fence uh, to, our, to the back of us here get those uh, discount seats because it's always a chance of some injury. <laughs> And here is another uh, one ball, two strike pitch here to Ryan. That's a bit high. Through the changeup, which is a good one two pitch. The throw to Ryan's definitely sitting on the fastball here. We've got a two two count here with nobody out here in the bottom of the third inning. And here's the pitch. And that one's right up the middle. Directly back to Matthews, he does an easy throw over to first to retire Magna. Nice play by Jamie, those balls, you're only 45 feet away from home plate, so That's those right. balls come back at you very quickly. Uh, it's just an important thing is just to make a clean recovery and a good straight throw. You don't have to buzz it over there. We got and big Greg Lever coming we've up. We've got Greg back at the plate. Greg's uh, older brother, Tommy Lever, made the, the big play of the World Series championship game last year, picking the runner up. And there. here's a line shot to left field, rolling right back to the fence. He's Ball digging for in for two, and here's the throw. Standing up. Licata made a nice recovery out left of that drilled shot that went right to the fence, got the ball back in to Josh Donat, but uh, Lever was already standing at second. So with one down, we've got a man on second. And we've got, uh, I believe that's Matty Campagna at the plate. Sure is. And that's a foul tip. Matty can definitely take it out. Well, you know, once again, you see a pitch that's just a little bit too high, and one of those pirate hitters will drill it wherever they feel like. And here's the pitch. And that one's low and rolls away. Lever's going for third. It's going to be a close play. Boy, not even a throw from the catcher. Uh, Lever got over there very quickly. Good base running by Greg. Very good base running. Aware alert was off as soon as the ball was skipping away. On a play like that, with the ball going up the third baseline, it's uh, very dangerous. Catcher gets there a little sooner, and uh, that's an easy out. 
More aggressive base running by the Pirates, and here's the pitch. Campagna knocks it right towards the third baseman. She has a little trouble, and a nice stabbing catch right there by Jesse Hamilton to prevent that one from rolling away. Uh, Adriana Zarillo had a little trouble recovering that one and getting the throw off. Which allows another run to score. Yeah, that scored Greg from third. Good base running again by Greg. He was right off on the, the crack of the bat. That's right. And that was a great stop by Jesse Hamilton at first base. Yeah, Hamilton really made a very nice stop there. Uh, obviously, Zarillo wanted to make a clean play over at uh, first base, trying to knock out the runner, but no such luck. And here is the pitch. We've got, uh, we've got uh, David, uh, David Corona up at the plate right now. Corona struck out to uh, lead off the second inning. And uh, there's a, a tough pitch. I have to say, Matthews, uh, even with those ones he's left up that have resulted in those powerful hits the Pirates have gotten, has still got some good stuff he's throwing in there. Here's the lead from Matthews, a little bit low. And we've got a uh, two ball, one strike count on Corona now. And here's the pitch. And that one's going towards the middle. Jonas Master to Danette. Danette and uh, base came right out from under his foot. I think that threw him <laughs> off a little bit. And I uh, really would not have had a shot at uh, first base anyway. But we've got a force out there. Corona forced uh, uh, Matty, uh, Matty Campagna over at second base. Very nice clean play. And we've got Jeff Carton at the plate right now. We've got uh, delay in play. Jeff Carton. 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 Well, a couple of our spectators have corrected us here. Thank you. Thanks, kids. Jeff Carton. We always want to get the names as properly as we can. Of course, again, I would like to apologize to uh, the family of uh, Kyle Barney for reversing it and saying it was Barney Kyle. And here is the pitch from Matthews. And uh, that one's uh, popped up. Could be a tough play, but uh, clean catch. Thought that one was going to run a little bit deeper, but uh, went right to uh, Donat there. Jonas Master, of course, uh, made a nice little grab there at uh, second to get the force out of Matty Campagna. And now that, uh, that finishes up uh, through three now. We've got a 4 nothing lead with the Pirates over the Tigers. And we'll be back. See this? In its earliest, most treatable stage, breast cancer is no bigger than the head of a pen. Now take a pillow and imagine it's your breast. You feel anything? Neither would the 45,000 women who would die of breast cancer this year. Don't wait. Get a mammogram. Call your American Cancer Society at 1-800-ACS-2345. Okay, well here we are. We're at the uh, John third base. We've uh, we do have a defensive change for the Pirates. Over at uh, third base, we have Willie Moss in for Kyle Barney. Ryan is still pitching. First pitch in to uh, Mike Maya is a strike. Maya is uh, of course catching for the Tigers. And uh, there is a shot. Right over and back to the fence. He is diving in for two and makes it in. Boy, that was a shot. If, uh, that one was Mike just got wrong. all of that one. <laughs> he sure did, no question about it. He uh, made it. it was a very nice play in the outfield to get the relay back in there for the play, but it really wasn't too close at second. So we've yep, got good a, speed uh, there by Mike. Yeah, he made a nice turn on first and uh, didn't slow down, legged it out to second. Here we go, Adriana. And we've got Adriana Zarillo, third baseman up right now, and here's the pitch. And that's a strike. So Ryan is throwing the strikes in there. And uh, once again, for the third time in four innings, the Tigers have the lead off, uh, the lead off hitter on base. We'll just have to see if they can make something happen with it. And here's the pitch. Blowing away, gets away. Maya's running and uh, does a bit of a crawl into third base. Well, I think the coach is going to have to the coach is going to have to work on the the uh, base sliding technique. Yeah. The hitting is no problem. Catching's been fine. We'll I think Coach Bruce Dahlbeck's been working on the <laughs> sliding technique. <laughs> 
And here's the pitch. That one's a bit high. So uh, Ryan seems to be a little bit wild there. See, the, the problem is that we have a, a sliding rule in the league. So if there's a play at the base, you have to slide or you're out. And I think some of the kids aren't, aren't really sure whether there's going to be a play or not, so they go in and are halfway, half standing and half falling. And I think that, that was the roll to take out the base, actually, uh, thinking someone might be there blocking it, but no such luck. That was a lot. And the last pitch was very nice. And here, oh! Couple of nice pitches there by Ryan now uh, with a uh, man on third and nobody out to get out the third baseman, Adriana Zarillo, with a couple of nice pitches. That's a strikeout. Here we go. We've got uh, Jonas Master coming up. Master, of course, took over second base duties in the last inning for the Tigers. And here's the pitch from Magner. Good eye, Jonas. Good eye. Bit low. We've still got the situation with a runner at third and only one out. Here we go, Jonas. Here we go. Throw. Magner does have six strikeouts in the game and five walks. And here's the pitch. This one's a bit low again. Magner apparently feels a little uncomfortable, wants to take a walk off the mound. Magner looks into McCants, and here's the pitch. And that's a solid shot right up first base, and... Ooh. Carton made a very nice play just to get over there. That one really ate him up. Good job, Jonas. That was a nice shot right up the line by Master to score the first run for the Tigers and make this a four to one affair. Well, that's the first uh, first time we've seen one of the uh, one of the leadoff runners for uh, for Magner uh, come back to bite him there. But we have the bases clear and two outs here. So uh, I think Dan Koff is uh, going to have to do a little bit of hitting here on his own to uh, get something happening. There's a pitch. Nice the left swing. Fouls nice off. swing. Yep. That was a nice play at first base by Kotzen. Very nice. This, this infield's a, a little tricky, and uh, he got right in front of the ball and took well, a bad that's hop. That's the way and he, to play. When you know, kept it in the infield and got the there's out. There's always that chance, and that's why you have to have to play him that way all the time. And here's the pitch, and uh, boy, <laughs> that's the type of stuff he was throwing at Zarello a little earlier in the inning that uh, struck her out. A little smoke on that one. Yep, just a little bit. And so Koff is in the hole here, 0 and 2 with two outs and the base is empty. Give it a rip, Dan. Tigers down, Give it a cut. 4 to 1. Ryan gets a signal and here's the pitch. That one's a bit low and inside. Looks like they've got a little action over in the uh, Tigers bullpen there. Probably be seeing a new pitcher, and here's the pitch. That's, that's high, two and two now. Magner obviously does not want to put anyone on base right now where you've you know squelched any sort of a, a bit of a comeback that the Tigers are starting to pull here. You don't want to tire yourself out throwing a lot of balls. And uh, that's uh, three and oh, uh, excuse me, three and two now. Full count to Koff, who's shown some good patience, showing a good eye in letting those last couple go by. And now with the full count here, we've got a very big pitch. Yeah, Ryan needs to bear down here and just throw it right by him. We'll see if he can pull some of that stuff he did with uh, to get Zarillo out. And uh, walks him. Walks him. That, that was uh, looked like a close pitch, but walked Koff. So Koff, who uh, walked in the second inning, walks again here uh, in the third inning. Excuse me, in the fourth inning. Right, that brings Zach Muffson up, who's, uh, who's walked and popped up, but he's hit, hit the ball hard a couple of times foul, and, and uh, producer Alan Shostak is And uh, Koff is going for second here. A beautiful throw and a uh, nice block of uh, second base. Koff obviously trying to get something going there, uh, but a, uh, a great throw by McCanns, and that caught him there at second. Good throw, good tag, so... We're going here to the bottom of the fourth inning with the score four to one. And we'll be back. You must remember this. 
It seems like yesterday you watched your family grow through happy times, rewarding times. You've worked hard to create a life filled with rich memories. Now that you've reached the golden years, you should have the health and vigor to create new memories. Exercise helps your heart, muscles, and mind to stay strong. This is Van Johnson. Check with your physician first and exercise regularly for yourself and those you love. Fitness is feeling great. Okay, uh, we uh, welcome back to the game here. We're in the bottom of the fourth. We've got Josh Donat on the mound. And there's the pitch into, uh, into Willie Moss. Uh, we, you, what you just missed uh, is we had the uh, first batter of the inning up. And here's the pitch again, and uh, that's a little bit high. Uh, we had uh, Kyle Monahan up. Kyle uh, hit a rope down to third, and Adriana Zarillo made a beautiful play and uh, fired it right over to first base there, getting uh, getting uh, Monahan out. That was, it was a terrific play by Adriana. It was. It Strike was. to first base. Nice stretch at first by Jesse Hamilton. And here's the pitch to Moss. He uh, faked the bunt on that last one and uh, walks. So with a uh, 3-1 count here. Uh, okay, and we've got uh, Elaine McCants up. Uh, she has uh, been hitting the ball and how so far tonight. That one's a bit high, and uh, of course we've got the Pirates active on the mound, always. Uh, active on the uh, bases, always. So Elaine Moss. has two doubles already. Yes, she does. And both of them were shots. And, um, Right, and she's also throwing she, two guys well, try, attempting to steal out of second base. Well, well, she's doing all right. Strikes down the second base. <laughs> she's uh, she's having a game in the, a season inside of a game here right now. Right, and she's still only 11 years old. Really? So she'll be around to terrorize the league for one more year. <laughs> I don't think anyone on the opposing teams are uh, looking forward to that prospect. And uh, she was going for it all there, and Moss is running. A nice throw by Maya, but cannot get him. So uh, again, the Pirates are, uh, once they get on base, they do not hesitate in running and running quickly. Moss gets to second now, so with one out on that play by Zarillo, now you see why that is so important. Two-two count here. And here's the two-two count pitch, and that's uh, three and two. Well, you know, Donat does not want to walk. Uh, you know, she doesn't want to walk in the cans here, but also he does want to hit another double. And I think she just did. <laughs> I ripped it down the line. Uh, ripped it down the line, and the uh, Moss is holding up at third quite wisely. A nice throw in uh, by Lakata right into the plate. But uh, that's three doubles on the night for McCants now. She has just been ripping the ball. Uh, she has had, that's two shots, actually I believe all three shots were to left. Yeah, they were. And uh, she has just been driving the ball. One more good hit. So now we have second and third. We've got uh, Josh, uh, Josh Kudish up at the plate, and here's the pitch. Josh watched that first pitch come in, a ball. Do not checks the signal and here's the pitch. And that's high. So that's 2-0. Uh, 2-0, oh. oh, first base open. Yep, Josh is not in trouble here. He's, he needs this out. Yeah, you, you really don't want to get people in scoring position with not many outs here against this Pirates team. Boy, that was a nice little pitch right there. That's what you want to have. Get a few of those in there for yourself and uh, you'll be looks in like, good shape. Looks like Josh Tanat's throwing a little curveball up there too. He, he froze Josh Kudish with that one. He sure did. He sure did. And here's the pitch. And a now, high, uh, a little high. Yeah, he's he's uh, he's in a bit of a jam here. You do not want to load up these bases. He would uh, because he would have Ryan Magner coming up right after that. After that. And here's the three-one pitch. And uh, Josh obviously wanted to drive somebody home. Uh, ball gets away, but a good play by Maya. And uh, you have Donat coming in, covering the plate quickly, keeping Moss at third, and McCants at second. So we've got the full count here. 
Obviously, this is a situation where uh, Donat has got to throw a strike. And the pitch. And that's what he did. Struck him out. Very big pitch right there. That was a nice pitch. So we've got uh, two outs now here in the uh, in the fourth inning. And we still got to score four to one here in the bottom of the fourth. Right, this, this is the key out right here for the Tigers. If they're going to have a chance of coming back, they've got to get Ryan out now. And here's the pitch. Magner slaps one. Oh, tough play. James Matthews there. Uh, and the throw gets away all the way to the backstop. So we had a double there from Magner, who <laughs> refuses to go to one base or another, and finally heads back to second after driving in two more, helping his own cause. Six to one now, the Pirates lead. Moss and McCants scoring on that hit. So uh, Magner, I believe, has, uh, is that, uh, yeah, he's got two hits now in the game, two doubles, and then he uh, was uh, taken out, pitcher to uh, first base in the, uh, in the third inning. So we've got another couple of runs in here, and uh, Magner at second with two outs. And we've got Greg Lever at the plate, and the pitch. Well, you know, uh, watching the way the Pirates hit and play and uh, play so aggressively, it's really surprising that they're 10-8 uh, and eight at this point in the season. Yeah, I think they had a slow start. Uh, it took a while for the kids to get used uh, to this style of play. A lot of the kids were new this year. And uh, it definitely takes a few weeks for them to get used to the pitching and the fielding. Uh, but they're in the groove now. They look well, like they, uh, uh, a tough team. Yeah, they're, they're, they're grooving right now. That's for darn sure. And it looks like the, the Orioles in first place at 11-6. and six. The Dodgers... Actually, we've got... 12-6. Yeah, the we Dodgers at 11-6. and six. The Pirates at 10-8. and eight. And the Red Sox at 9-9 nine and nine. Uh, are all right there within a couple of games of each other and all pretty tough teams, so uh, should make for a very interesting playoff series. Well, I'd say so. I would say so. And here is the pitch. And uh, that one is slapped right towards second. A nice stop. Throw is not in time. Magner advances to third and holds up. That was a nice stop by Jonas Master. But yeah, it was a great yeah. stop. Uh, Lever, of course, was running the whole way, legged it out, and just beat out a very nice throw. And then a heads-up play by Hamilton kept Magner at third. Of course, if you don't keep your eye on him, he'll be home and sitting on the bench before you know what happened. Yeah, he was halfway home, just waiting <laughs> waiting for the, the Tigers to throw the ball. I think as soon as the pitcher uh, goes and, into and his lineup, he's halfway home, actually. And uh, they've got a meeting on the mind, uh, the, a meeting of the minds at the mound. Uh, with uh, Josh Dunat. He's, he's had a tough inning. He, is, he has had a tough inning so far. Well, outside of that, that one hit by Elaine McCants, though, they, they haven't really hit the ball all that hard. No, no, well, it, it, McCants has hit everyone hard, yeah. though. I, I don't think that's any, you, you're not saying a bad thing about the pitcher uh, when you say that McCants hits him hard because he seems to do that against everyone. Uh, I think they might have sent Clemens in here on his, uh, his rehab stint just to see uh, how he would do fair against her, but I'm not sure. Well, we've got two outs, which is the usual time for this first and third double steal. So we'll see what the Pirates pull here. And here's the pitch. Campania, watch that one come in. And the, uh, the up is going to clean off the plate. All right, now in this situation with two outs, you don't want to, the runner on first does not want to get thrown out. No. But to end the inning, especially with Maddie Campania at the plate. That would not be a good thing. That was uh, with Dan Koff earlier. That's how, the, uh, that's how they end the inning. Of course, you don't want that to happen. But it's, it's questionable whether the Tigers will try to throw him out a second or not. Uh, true. So we'll, we'll see what the Pirates are going to do here. We'll see. And here is the pitch. It's away, and this is a pop-up. It's going to be tough. That's right. Oh, oh, it's, it looks like uh, that was right off Lakata's face, unfortunately. A very tough play. He had to come in on that it one very like quickly. looks like he's okay. Yeah, yeah, I believe it glanced off the side of his face. It looks like he is all right, though. He's waved off the coach, so yes, apparently he's okay. A very tough play. You don't want to see that happen here with two outs especially. And against a team that uh, can knock him in like the Pirates can, you don't want to give him any more of an advantage or you have to. No. Letting him bat three times inning is enough of an advantage, apparently. Yeah, well, that left field is a little uh, tough because it, it the field isn't level out there. Come, it kind of sinks down, so Scotty came charging in to get that ball, and it 
Well, it, it drifted uh, back a little I, on him, and I think, I think that went a little more balance. on him than he expected. And there's a, a high pitch to uh, David Corona. Corona, the, the big lefty standing in there. He uh, struck out in the second inning and was uh, and hit into uh, uh, force uh, from the second baseman in the third. And here's the pitch. And he nubs one right over to the third baseman. And there's a nice little play. Zarillo uh, made a couple of nice plays during the inning, but fortunately Josh Donat got uh, knocked around a little bit here, and the Pirates score three more. And we've got the score now, 7-1. to one. Pirates over the Tigers after four full innings, and we'll be back. Smokeless tobacco? Man, that's some nasty stuff. Remember CJ got messed up from it? Got a lot of gum problems. Man, my brother has some foul looking sores in his mouth from chew. And quitting was tough too because he was hooking the nicotine. But he quit. Yeah, that guy with mouth cancer really got to him. Yeah, and Kim said his breath was terrible. <laughs> Get the facts. Smokeless isn't harmless. Write this address. Uh, here we go. We're at the top of the fifth inning with the Tigers batting. And we've got uh, Zach Muffson up at the plate. Muffson uh, walked and made it all the way to third in the first inning. Here we go, Zach. Here we go. And here's the pitch. And uh, takes a nice swing there, even in the count up at one and one. And producer Arlen Shostak has predicted a line drive single down the first base line, possibly a double. So we'll see how his so we can expect pretty much anything but that, uh, are. anytime. <laughs> and here's the pitch. <laughs> well, it's just a bit outside. Good job, Jack. Good job. Of course, after that last comment, this may be my last and only game of the season here, uh, announcing for Brookline here Youth we Baseball. Go, Jack. Here we go. And here's the pitch. Oh, nasty strike. Strikes out Muffson. Uh, looks like uh, Ryan hasn't lost too much there. Nope. In fact, he looks a little more loose right now than he has. <laughs> now, you appear to have a little bit of difficulty with those, uh, with those walks he was handing out like candy earlier in the game, but he... Uh, Really appears to have gotten himself uh, under control here. So with one out, nobody on. Here in the top of the fifth, uh, I think he was doing a little more of that uh, Randy Johnson we were alluding to earlier. Uh, strike him out and then brush him back. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go, Josh. Here we go. And uh, a few years ago, I coached Ryan on uh, one of the, the town summer teams. and. We had a nice little team with a good group of players, and but we had a rough start in the first round. We lost our first six games, mm. and uh, kids didn't let their spirits get down though. And but one of the the funny things about our team was that even though we had lost all the games, uh, one of the kids said, "We may be last in the league, but we lead the league in spitting." <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it looks like uh, to this day Ryan has carried forward that that summer tradition. <laughs> I don't believe he's been uh, using the spitball though. Yeah. We can say uh, I think we can say without question uh, we haven't had any questionable plays. And I believe we've got a three-one count here. And here's the pitch. And that is a solid line drive right up the middle. David Corona recovers, gets it back in. But uh, that was a nice bit of hitting there by uh, Josh Donat. So uh, after getting in a little bit of trouble pitching uh, the last half of the uh, fourth inning, he uh, tries to help his own cause here by lining one up the middle. Yeah, the Tigers need to do it here. Well, they sure Gotta do. Gotta get some runs. Yeah, they're getting late in the game, so they really can't mess around. Uh, down by six runs against such a strong team. And uh, with Magner making some very good plays. And uh, at the plate right now, we have uh, Scott Licata who had that difficult play in left uh, with that glancing blow, but he knocks one right here. Looks like it's going to drop in. It does, and he's making the play to second, but we have... Uh, he's safe. We have, yeah, Donat was safe there. Uh, he was safe, safe. Uh, there was some dispute of the play at second there, but we've got now runners on uh, first and second with one out, and uh, Tigers are again trying to threaten, get a little bit back into this game after falling out of it. And it looks like we've got uh, Jamie Matthews, I believe, coming up to the plate now. Matthews, who uh, pitched the first few innings and now has moved over to short, getting a little, uh, little bit of advice. Jamie was a 
one of the entries in the home run hitting contest at the All-Star Game this year, so he's definitely capable of taking one out here. Well, I would say that is one thing the Tigers would be looking for. And uh, first pitch is a blazing fastball right down the middle by Magner. And a few wild pitches against uh, against a knot there that were all over the place, but uh, Pierce had gotten back into himself here, and here's the 0-1 pitch. <laughs> Smoke again. <laughs> Well, every time it seems like he's uh, getting a little wild and out of control, he uh, spits a little bit and uh, <laughs> seems to get his stuff right back. Here we go, Jamie. And here's Here the 0-2 pitch from Magner. And that one gets away. The runners are advancing. And here's the throw to third, and he is in safely. That was a, a good throw by McCants down to third, but uh, uh, Donat had already advanced and was really already in. Not much of a chance, but uh, keeping him honest there. So second and third now. Just about any sort of hit is going to bring at least one, maybe two runs in here. So it's Scott Okada, great speed out there. And here's the pitch. Oh, that's boy, got him. Two strike curveball. That, uh, oh, that's, that's a nasty pitch. <laughs> that should be illegal. It's, it's too good. <laughs> He's too young to be throwing that, isn't he? <laughs> should at least have to be 15 to throw that ball. So, uh, again, a couple of strikeouts here, but uh, surrounded by a few good hits. And here's the pitch. To uh, believe that is uh, uh, is that uh, Jesse Hamilton? Yes, in there? Jesse, it's Jesse Hamilton. Yeah, that is Hamilton. We do have Hamilton in there. Hamilton obviously would like to get some, uh, I'd say wood, but metal on the uh, metal on the ball there, or at least some aluminum. Uh, two outs. They need a hit. Yeah, they do. They, they need do. a this hit. This is a situation where they uh, they've got a. Uh, and here's a pitch. And there's a number over to first. This could be a tough play, though. And nice. Very nice play. Nice play. Yeah. Hamilton liked it out there. You know, gave it absolutely everything he had. But uh, the... Josh Kudish. Yeah. Josh made a very nice play. All right. And Hamilton Swallowing has some speed going and, uh, down the line, too. So, so we've nice got uh, going to the bottom of the fifth. Tigers were not able to come up with anything after getting a couple people on, so we still have the score seven to one with the Pirates coming up to bat in the bottom of the fifth. We'll be back. Turn it on, turn on your breakfast. Turn it on, turn on your day. You're the one that's gonna make it. Look at your work, look at your play. Be your best every day. Have fun, just do it your way. Turn it on, turn on the breakfast. Now don't you know You're the one that's gonna make it Look at your mood, look at your goal Turn it on Okay, and we'd like to uh, thank a few more of our sponsors here this evening uh, Bobby Madigan, Remax First Realty Brookline Police Association Brewster Ambulance Lids Clear Flower Bakery Vinny Testas all right, I'm getting hungry. This is bad. Robinson, Carp, and Davis. Miss Sandy Wheeler. Hunneman and Company, Caldwell Banker. Nicholas J. Palmero, Jr., Esquire. Mer Merrill and McGeary. Arrow Sports. Choby Hoy Associates. Putricelli and Nader. Excuse me, Petricelli and Nader. Nadler. <laughs> Nadler? Nadler. Nadler. I'm, I'm, this is awful. Uh, Nadler, uh, we've got... Uh, a major law firm in downtown Boston. <laughs> <laughs> we'll probably sue me if I uh, mispronounce <laughs> that one more time. Cooples Bakery and Bagel and Alexander's. So again, thank you to all of our sponsors who make this uh, wonderful event possible. Thank you. And uh, as a matter of fact, we've got a shot on Alexander's right now who... Uh, Maybe if I say something really nice, we'll bring us over some uh, free pizza. I don't yeah, know. They, they've done it before. Really? Oh, yes. Uh, we and we it's love really good pizza. Too. I hear they're the best. And we've got to now the bottom of the fifth inning. And we're waxing poetic on pizza and nearly missed a nice play here. Jeff Katzen. Katzen grounded out right to the pitcher. Donat made a nice play, eating that one up, throwing it right over to first. A nice clean play over to Katzen. I would like to hit the first Excuse pitch. Me, uh, over to Hamilton. Excuse me, that was Katz grounding out. So now we've got uh, Kyle Monahan at the plate. Swings at the first one. Looks like Donat uh, really wants to get him out here so they can get back here uh, top of the uh, top of the inning. See if they can't get back in this game. And here's the pitch. 
That's a bit high. Kyle, the latest in a long line of outstanding athletes. Ooh, that's, uh, it's got some good pitches coming off the nat there. And of course, we would be remiss tonight if not thanking our cameraman, John, who has been bringing all these images to us. And here's the pitch. And that's a number. Looks like it could be a tough play, but second baseman Jonas Master made a nice recovery, stepped back a few paces, and made the catch. So we've got two outs quickly in the bottom of the fifth inning here. Again, if the Tigers are going to have any shot, they really can't allow any more runs to come in here. And we've got uh, Willie Moss at the plate now. Moss took over for Kyle Barney a few innings ago. And uh, see, I believe Moss was up here. Ooh, that's a strike there. Yeah, it looks like uh, tonight has really got the stuff going here. Yeah, Josh is a good pitcher. And uh, I think he, maybe it took him a little inning or so to, to get ready. Loosen up a little, find the groove. Well, if you don't yeah. have the groove coming in against these Pirates, they'll make you pay pretty quick. Sure will. And here's the 1-1 pitch. That one skips away. No one on base to advance, though. Makes it a uh, two-ball, one-strike count. And it looks like the Pirates will be bringing in a new pitcher. Uh, to uh, lead off the next inning. They've got someone warming up anyway. And here's a pitch. Woof. Nice strike on Dunat there. As you said, he does appear to have some very good stuff, but uh, that first inning can be pretty, pretty rough. Magner escaped his first inning after walking three. And here's the pitch. And another one just uh, squeaks under the glove of Maya. Looks like uh, Katzen. Um, Katzen might be the one coming in to pitch next inning for the Pirates. But here's the pitch. And that's a strike three. That it was a good inning uh, pitch there by Josh Dunat. So they're keeping it uh, at least relatively close. Seven to one here. Tigers uh, will have an uphill battle here, though, in the top of the sixth inning, trying to crawl back into this game. And when we're back, we'll see if they can do it. If you've had a sexually transmitted disease, like gonorrhea, herpes, or syphilis. Listen, what you were doing that exposed you to that disease could also expose you to the AIDS virus. You're living proof that a sexually transmitted disease can happen. Please don't prove it again. Find out more about HIV, the virus that causes AIDS. Well, we've got uh, pitching this inning. We have David Corona catching. We have Kyle Monahan. We have Elaine McGantz, uh, Elaine McCants, excuse me, out in center field. So Corona is looking in, and the first man he's uh, and here's the pitch. This is going to be uh, play for the second baseman. So uh, Kudish makes the play over at second for one out here. Mike Maya. And that was Mike Maya, the catcher, who uh, just popped out to second there. We got uh, Josh Dom, who is uh, up right now, and here's the pitch to him. And that's a ball. So obviously, Corona would just like to throw a few pitches and get this game over with. With a 7-1 lead, really, they, uh, that's all they're looking for. And he's getting a little instruction here. We've got the, the lefty reliever in with that Hedo Nomo like setup and delivery. Behind you, catch! Behind you! <laughs> Kyle Monahan had a little difficulty finding that ball, but luckily there was no one on base to advance on him. Yeah, this is Josh Dam. Mm -hmm. So uh, here we we've got go, Josh. Uh, here we go. Give it a ride. Josh up right here. Would like to get something going. And that ball just rolls a little bit away. Go, Josh. So here we are in the top of the sixth inning, 7-1 lead for the Pirates. Tigers need to get something going and quick to stay in this game. And here's the pitch. Oh, 
I think uh, Josh actually wanted to tie the game up with that one swing there. <laughs> it's usually a problem uh, as the uh, infinitely w uh, wise Tommy Lasorda once said, you have to get to three to get to four. Well, in this case, you have to get to two to get to seven. So you might not want to go to the fences uh, for the fences in every one, but there's a walk. <laughs> there's a walk for uh, Josh, and he's going to be standing at first with one out. And uh, we're going to have Jonas Master, the second baseman, coming up. The lefty Corona would obviously like to see a little ground ball here to uh, get a flip over for a double play. Holds the glove up, got that stop in the stance and the pitch. That one's a little low. Meyer is, uh, excuse me, uh, Dam is uh, looking for just about any opportunity here he could have to advance. Well, we hope they don't run into another out here. Well, I think they, uh, with the new catcher in, that wouldn't be too surprised. Yeah, and he's running to second. And uh, no throw. Throw back to the pitcher, no through. So uh, with the new catcher in, with uh, McCants out in center field now, no one behind the plate, I wouldn't be too surprised to see the uh, Tigers running as much as they can. And uh, we've got the pitch in. And that one skips away as well. Monahan uh, recovers the ball, but uh, we've already got the man over at third now. So on a couple of wild pitches, uh, uh, Corona's had a little trouble with control, and Kyle Monahan has had some difficulty holding on to the ball behind the plate. And we got a man at third now. We've got uh, we've got Josh over at uh, third, and uh, Jonas Masters at the plate would like to drive him in. Here's the pitch, and that's a strike. Just a couple of wild pitches. Uh, Corona get, does get one right over the plate, and we've got Dam standing at third. Got to protect the outside corner, Jonas. With one out and down by six runs. I think they'd be pretty happy with a single just to bring one run in and get something going here. Way to waste it, Jonas. Great swing. Foul tip away. Yep, Jonas stays alive. David Corona has that deceptive motion. He does. So those lefty yeah, pitches. I'm, I'm telling you, next time you're watching one of those Dodgers games where he don't know more pitches, you check it out. He's got uh, not as much of a drawback, but uh, here's the pitch. And he pops it up right over towards us. I think he didn't like that last comment we made, but... Come on, David, one more. Come on, David. I think we've got, I'm not sure, but I believe we have a full count here. And here's the pitch. That one's low and away, and uh, well, that tells me right there we did not have a full <laughs> count because that was ball three. So uh, now I believe we have a full count, though. Sorry, Ted. I, uh, I believe the uh, first base coach for the Tigers was uh, trying to take out the catcher there. Uh, <laughs> We got a, three, a full count here. This is obviously his uh, play. They'd like to just get get him out and have two outs in the inning. And uh, there's a line drive. And oh, oh! That was a tough play by uh, Lever. Didn't really have much of a chance. That was a slapping hit by uh, Masters, bringing in the first run since the uh, I think the four, yeah, fourth inning was when they came across with their first run here in the top of the sixth. They get their second, making it a seven to two ball game. Corona has had a little bit of difficulty. Now they have one out with the man on first. And I believe uh, well, that, that would not be this is Hoff. This is Matt McDonald. This is, uh, thank, thank you, Matt coming McDonald back in. coming back into the game. Apparently they wanted the righty up against the lefty. Didn't want to have Koff, the lefty, in there. Well, that was a nice stop by Greg Lever, but... It was. Well, he was, he, when, when you have a stop like that, he was concentrating on stopping the ball, which he did rather effectively, yeah. but then just slipped right out of his hand. Yeah. Looks like he had some thoughts about throwing home on that play and, <laughs> and didn't quite have a handle. Well, the uh, Pirates have been playing a very smooth game. They've been a little, uh, little rough here so far, though. A couple of wild pitches, a uh, uh, tough play at short there, and now the uh, Tigers have a run across. So we'll have to see if they can make anything else happen here with McDonald at the plate and the pitch. Good eye. Well, stranger things have happened. I won't put any hexes on the Pirates here, but I wouldn't see, <laughs> mind seeing a nice close uh, sixth inning here. Getting a few more runs across. Well, the Tigers are getting into the, the tough part of their lineup, so... Oh, we uh, ball skipped away on a strike there. 
Kyle Monahan uh, does recover the ball, but uh, again, we had a man advance on a ball that just got away. Uh, Corona has a, a very good pitch, but uh, when it's low and away, it is low and away. And it's skipped away from Kyle Monahan a couple of times. All right, so we do have uh, one out here. Man on second now. And that would be uh, Jonas Master. And we've still got Matt McDonald at the plate here. Getting a little bit of instruction from his coach. The Tigers could use a hit here. They sure could. They could you know, as a matter of fact, let's be honest, they could use a couple of hits yeah. here. I'd say about three or four more. Get them right back into this game. No, a hit here could bring them within a couple, and then they've got Zach Bobson, Josh Janette, and Scott Licata, Jamie Matthews coming and up. Those, so. are, those are the, the one. Ooh. Tough pitch by Dave Corona. Yep. He, uh, he's been throwing that low and away, and uh, on that one, he. Uh, he got McDonald to swing, and uh, that's the second out for the inning here. That was a big out for David. Well, very big out. Now you have two men out and a man on second, so, and you do have the... Uh So two outs, and uh, this one does not skip away. It was close, but uh, Monahan was able to hold on to it. Here we go, Zach. Here we go. Okay, we do have Zach Muffson. Uh, we'll believe he switched around. No, he's he's a lefty. I believe I uh, I was wrong actually. Yeah. <laughs> this is the batter that our producer predicted would hit a line drive down the right field line. Ah. ah. And if he were here at this moment, oh, I'm sure he right would. Now, as a matter of fact. He would make the same prediction. Okay. Well. Uh, In fact, I'm predicting it. Arlen is uh, is known. Arlen Shostak, our producer, is known for his predictions here, and uh, we'll have to see if he predicts another hit for uh, for uh, Zach Muffson. So uh, this could be it for the Tigers. This could be the last gasp. And uh, ball again gets away. Throw down to third. And uh, Monahan uh, got the ball up there pretty quick, but it was a little bit away from the base. So. Uh, Another wild pitch. It's a good thing this isn't too close of a game. Uh, you know, those balls skipping around back there have caused some problems. Uh, this is when, it, when you want to get your younger pitchers their experience in a situation where well, you know, not a lot of pressure, you have a good cushion. This is always a good opportunity. You know, let them work out some of the mechanics. And uh, here's a pitch and a foul tip there. And uh, David's definitely giving Zach Muffson some problems here. Uh, yes, yes. He, uh, uh, again, with that delivery and lefty on lefty, he's, uh, yeah. he's had some, uh, he has uh, made it difficult on him. Yeah, his timing looks like it's a little off, but it only takes one pitch. That's right. This could be it. And that one again gets away, but right behind the plate, and with as little room behind home base as there is, uh, no one was, he was not going to be advancing on that particular play. So we've got Masters at third. We've got two outs. And two strikes. Two strikes on him here. So uh, this could be the game right here. And here's the pitch from Corona. And that's a foul ball. Right over towards the Pirates bench. Muffson uh, is not going quietly into that good night and not allowing the Tigers to die here. They want to keep themselves alive for any chance of getting back in and winning this game here in the top of the sixth inning with the Pirates reading 7-2. to two. And here is the pitch. Again, skips away. That one's right to the backstop. Again, Masters really with uh, with not much room behind, uh, behind home plate there. You're not going to see him advancing. And that was uh, ball four. So on the full count, ball four. Well, now we've got men on the corners with two outs. So now uh, with uh, a hefty swing of the bat, if uh, Josh Donat uh, can uh, can get some uh, get some aluminum on the uh, on the uh, ball there, we could have a uh, seven to five game here yes, very really quickly. And, and Josh Donat can hit. So I have to see what he can do here. See if uh, Corona can get himself out of a little bit of trouble. He's put himself in here. And there's a hit. It's going up towards the middle. Clean play at second for the force out, ending the game. Final score here is 7-2. to two. Pirates beating the Tigers in a great offensive performance by the Pirates, especially Elaine McCants, who did a wonderful job 
hitting three doubles and uh, just uh, doing a great job behind the plate as well. So uh, that wraps it up here for us as you see all the players are lining up to uh, shake hands and congratulate each other on uh, a very well played game on both sides as it was. You had uh, Ryan Magner doing a very good job pitching there, holding the Tigers to only one run while he was in there in his five innings. Uh, and then you also had uh, uh, you had both uh, Josh Donat uh, and uh, Jamie Matthews in there uh, giving a good performance uh, but uh, against the Pirates, but you, you throw a few more in there uh, and that's about it. And uh, uh, we'll be back in a moment with the MVPs and the wrap-up. Tragically, 150,000 Americans will lose their lives this year because of one thing. But not the thing you think. See this? In its earliest, most treatable stage, breast cancer is no bigger than the head of a pen. Now take a pillow and imagine it's your breast. You feel anything? Neither would the 45,000 women who would die of breast cancer this year. Don't wait. Get a mammogram. Call your American Cancer Society at 1-800-ACS-2345. Okay, welcome back everybody. Right now we're talking with tonight's two MVPs from the Pirates. We've got Elaine McCants, and from the Tigers, we have Adriana Zarillo. Uh, both of them, of course, had uh, spectacular performances both behind the plate and in the field. Uh, now, Elaine, you had uh, three doubles in tonight's game, correct? Yeah. Okay. And uh, now, how old are you, Elaine? Eleven. You're eleven, okay. And you've been playing mostly catcher this year for the team? Mm -hmm. And a little bit of outfield. Now, uh, with, this, with the swing, when you're up there at the plate uh, with the three doubles tonight, uh, when, when the pitchers come in there, you seem to be pretty confident. So is there any, uh, any hitters you model yourself after who you're trying to, uh, trying to hit like? Not really. Um, I, I think I mean, the coach kind of told us that we should step up to the plate and swing hard and be aggressive. Mm -hmm. So that's mostly what I did today. Now, I also noticed that you guys are extremely aggressive on the bases, always running, always moving around. I'm sure that's something the coach must work with you on as well. Yeah. He, um, that one time I thought it was going out, so I almost got hit at second. But, <laughs> um, that, he mostly wants us to run to second if they like miss it or bobble it. Well, that obviously benefited you guys tonight when you were able to score those seven runs. And uh, you also did throw two people out from behind the plate, isn't that correct? Yeah. Well, uh, congratulations on an excellent game behind the plate and at, uh, and at the plate hitting yourself. Thanks. You're welcome. And Adriana, of course, uh, you made that spectacular play over at third, blade, third base, uh, throwing over to first. Now, have you been playing at third the whole year? Um, most of the year, but I do also play outfield. You do also play outfield, and would that be center, right, or whichever position they need you in that evening? Um, usually right or left. Okay, okay, so we got right or left field. Now, uh, behind the plate, you also did have a very nice single, knocked it right over there and uh, scored. Now, what, what inning was that leading off uh, when you got that hit? Um, I think that was the uh, second inning, wasn't it? Uh, could yes. have been, yeah. And then uh, in the fifth inning, uh, you did have that beautiful stab over there at third, throwing right over the first, uh, getting the play. Uh, and. Uh, I'd just like to congratulate both of you on a very good performance here tonight. And uh, thank all of you for tuning in and watching the game. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. And I uh, hope you enjoyed yourselves watching the game tonight and had a good time. Uh, this is Tom McGee. Thank you for watching Brookline Youth Baseball here on Brookline Access Television. And uh, this is Tom McGee for uh, Arlen Showstack, our producer. We've got uh, John Healy, our cameraman, and uh, Tom Magnuson, who was... <laughs> Tom Madigan, who uh, will never forgive me for mispronouncing his name, uh, uh, who is also here with me working the play-by-play. -play. So again, thank you for this evening and have a good night.